uh, this video is could end up being a bit um so it's it's an old it's stuff that i recorded a while ago and so some bits you might have already heard me say them and might have spoken them they might you might be able to tell that this is was recorded a bit earlier but there is loads of stuff that you won't know so rather than that i just don't have time to record it all over again and um, the way that I'm doing this, right, because I'm recording things on my phone, because um, I just don't have the equipment and programs, I don't have the time to learn anything. Um, uh, so I, um, I'm just doing it on my phone for, for the time being, because also it might not be something that I'm going to continue to do. It might just be something that I do for a while. Um... <laughs> So I, um, I'm not going to invest at the moment. So what I'm trying to say is that the way that I'm re recording this is so often I've recorded it in lots of I've recorded bits and I put them together. But because I'm putting them together, I have to record it all from the beginning and all the bits. Right. And if I mess anything up, get anything in the wrong order, I have to start all over again. Um, well, it could be all over again. It just depends which bit I've messed up, really. But um, so basically, if this some of this might I've I've tried to put it in order, but it's but it's made up of about twenty different pieces, and I'm having difficulty. F I think I've figured it out, but if I haven't, I hope you will give me a bit of grace and. Uh, just understand that I've done the best I can. I'd rather get the information out and um, it, it might all be in the right order and I might, you know, be saying this for no good reason, but I, I'm, it's just a disclaimer. <laughs> right, anyway, um, so I'll, uh, so I kind of launch it and I've had to cut off a bit of the beginning of this I can't remember why but because it's something that I said I needed to cut it out so it sounds like I'm launching into something but you'll get the gist of it so uh anyway it's quite a long one so you might want to <laughs> take a few breaks <laughs> or just lose the will to live halfway through but um it's worth listening to um because uh well, you'll see from the title what it's about, um, but it's uh, interesting to see how much money these officers are making. Um, and the this article sort of leads into that. It's kind of interesting what they say in the article, because this is regarding the um, how the money is spent, the budget is spent, and it's interesting as to why... They say they don't want another police. They're not going to... Well, I'll, you'll hear it. Oh, I'll, I don't want to balls it up. So um, just have a listen, OK? I really have with this whole thing. And, like, I do like to look at the bigger picture of things, not just um, exactly what happened. Um, but, um, like, it really concerns me that there were police officers around that area, patrolling that area and dealing with something so petty as um, kids on a college campus, duh, walking around with alcohol, that just doesn't seem really any big deal to me. They weren't like, I mean, these kids weren't like fighting or doing anything outrageous. They were just four kids walking along, three or four, I don't know. Uh, and just to just to add in, um, if you haven't seen the latest body cam footage, so some new stuff that's come out on the Truth and Transparency um, pay, uh, not page, uh, channel, um, it's intriguing. It's, it's disgusting, actually. In fact, it kept me up all night because I found it really disturbing. Um, it's from that night and um, they stop a, a couple, a 
a boy and a girl, so young, two young people around the same age as the the victims. And um, I just, it's, it's just really awful the way I think, the way they treat this girl. It's just unacceptable. It's just unacceptable. Um, uh, and I made an entire video and then my phone crashed and I lost the whole thing and I spent about 45 minutes uh I mean that was just the initial talking bit um and messing around with the video um but uh, doesn't sound very long does it but it felt but it's <laughs> that's a long time we've been talking for 45 minutes and then you're like oh my god are you kidding me um, yeah, so um, take a look at that because I I am I might do a video on it. I, I I but it's definitely worth a watch. I'm, I I might repeat the video that I um, lost, but you could just have a look. In fact, I'll put it into the description so you can access it easily. And meanwhile, they're missing people in the background. And potentially, with being told what time this crime happened, well, they wouldn't dare tell us it happened when these police officers were actually dealing with some minor incident, not even an incident, some minor matter. And for some reason, they're undercover and their patrol car is undercover and they actually have the brass neck to say to these kids, don't ignore me next time just because you shouldn't ignore an officer just because they're undercover. Well, well actually, you shouldn't be um, accepting that any old Tom, Dick and Harry is an officer just because they say they're an officer. We've learned from that. There have been crimes, which I might even do another video on, where people have posed as an officer or as a security guard. Bundy posed as a security guard. Um, but there are other crimes where police have posed as officers to younger kids. Um, I'm trying to think specifically. I think it's the snow killings where that might have happened. Um, which was... I need to um, refresh my memory on that, where that happened. There's a book called... The Snow I think it's a book called Snow Killings. Look that up. Um, there were people in the area, those happened, posing as police officers. It happens. There are multiple videos on YouTube of people pretending to be police officers. Um, so I think to advise kids, to give that advice to kids, is putting kids' safety in jeopardy. And as we can see the priority just wasn't protecting that the kids that lived around that area the many kids university students living in that area it was to catch them doing something wrong and then the police become the enemy they become they don't they're not then somebody that you can trust to go to or feel comfortable going to or feel comfortable contacting and that's a real concern. I feel like the focus, if anything, there needs, to, there should be uproar, outrage at the fact that this happened on their watch, and um, that th th this could happen. I forgot what I was going to say then. Um, it, I just think it's. I, I think it, there should be. They, they focus so hard on demonising this guy. Well, when people overcompensate and then they got in like the world and their wife to deal to deal with it once they realised that they needed to because it does I mean, I don't know if they have a lack of resources or too many resources because they've got officers going around dealing with things that I feel the the issue though having said that is the hate hazing so but just kids carrying some alcohol that's you know it's not 
I don't know. I don't know what those officers were doing there. I'm not buying it that they were in plain clothes. That They didn't explain why they were in plain clothes. They explained why their car was a... Um, sorry, we call it plain clothes uh, over here if you're not wearing uniform. Um, they didn't exp- they explained why their car wasn't a police car. They didn't expl- explain why they weren't in uniform when we have seen multiple videos and all the officers are in uniform. Why not this night? Anyway, I, dig- I well, I don't digress. This is, this is relevant. And the fact that they appointed somebody with a few years' experience to be the lead investigator. He wrote the PCA. He discovered the murder the murder weapons sheath, apparently, or the, a sheath. We don't even know if it's a sheath of a murder weapon because, actually, the coroner um, referred to it as a large knife. And these K-bar knives, I've watched videos on them, they don't seem to be that big, to be honest, unless there's another one that I'm not aware of. Um, did she say large knife or did she say large edged weapon because I did look up edged weapons and it's not just knives that are counted as edged weapons axes are also counted as edged weapons and there have been axe attacks I don't know if you've ever heard of um, the Henry Von Breeder family murders look that up that's a Interest, interesting one. It happens in South Africa. They weren't South African, though. They were Australian family. Or they were... I think they're Australian family. Or they'd been living in Australia for a considerable time. Pretty much grew up in Australia, I think. And then moved to South Africa. And um, this kid was really involved in drugs. And uh, I wouldn't... I You know, he denied responsibility but he he wasn't he said that people like kind of put it as if they were burglars right but this kid was so um caught up in sort of drug world I wouldn't be surprised if it was people that he couldn't name because the the consequences of naming them would be worse than going to prison I don't know I mean it's it is possible that he was off his head on drugs. He was taking a, a drug that was really associated with aggression. So it could have been the case, but it equally could have been some sort of um, reprisal. And then you leave one person, you know, you kill this person's family and leave them surviving. That's double that's a double whammy you've killed their family and basically left them looking like the murderer um i don't know about that though i don't know if that's the case but that's what i've wondered about that but um that's just kind of off piece talking about um an axe murder but yeah that is something that there's other i'll have a look because i think i looked up some cases where there are axe attacks but this is about um budget in latar county or latar if you prefer um and you know it made me wonder are they short on resources that they've got this person who's not really fully qualified for the position to be leading a quadruple in um homicide investigation um you know he's only been in the job a few years he was you know he's had a full career in the military and I do wonder if he maybe was in the military police or some kind of military investigator because we haven't he he was in the paras the paratroopers but maybe they're keeping that hush hush but that's still not you know the civilian police is a it's still a different system and it's very hush hush system as well which is kind of concerning really because they probably get to do they probably get a lot more leeway and they're a bit more of a law unto themselves i don't know i'm speculating there perhaps somebody else might have some specific experience on that but anyway 
but you know so that that kind of makes you think well how low is their budget they can't they you know not but then apparently there are people with more experience who who weren't given that role and I don't really feel like it should be because it's not who was available that day because um Brett Payne didn't arrive hours later so unless everybody was unavailable that day I mean it was a foot football day wasn't it was everybody watching the football was that more important I don't know I just don't know why this the guy who couldn't even get there in a reasonable length of time so must have been quite far away was assigned to this and didn't have the level of experience really required for this sort of um investigation unless there's something they're not telling us Okay, so um, let's have a look at this. So this is June 2022. Talking about the, the budget for um, Latar County Sheriff's Office. And so this is only four months, about four months prior. The Latar... Latar County Sheriff's Office will not request money in next year's budget for new patrol positions or a drug dog. Sheriff Richie Skiles and Chief Deputy Tim Best, I'll show you who they are. That's Richie Skiles. And look, you can see he did request a drug dog in 2019 and he will explain why he's not requesting one this year. And that's the other guy, Tim Best. I can't find one of him in uniform. I've only been able to find one on his public Facebook page, which he doesn't seem to use since well prior to this date. Um... The five million operating budget calls for salary raises, but no added patrol officers and command staff. So they called for salary raises. They felt that police weren't being paid enough. We're going to look at police officers pay in a moment, specifically these off these. Well, the department's pay rather, not not just police officers who are on the job, you know, on the street. Um, chief and command staff. So that means people in... Command staff means the people in charge, doesn't it? So Chief Deputy Tim Best said, this is partly because of the office's inability to fill positions. He said... The office added two positions, a dispatcher and a patrol officer, but they have yet to be filled. He also said the sheriff's office wants to be mindful of a potential cost of living adjustment for Leitar County employees that the commissioners may approve this year. So they think there needs to be a cost of living adjustment and that they can't manage on the salaries that they're on. Hmm, interesting. We'll see about that. He said the office is trying to be considerate of the other county department budgets. Okay, that's fair enough. So it all has to come from one budget, doesn't want to take it just for the police. We take we take up about a third of the entire county budget. So we try to be as conservative as we can, he said. The sheriff's office currently employs... They don't seem to be conservative with the wages, though. You, you wait. The, the sheriff's office currently employs 53 people. The budget request calls for a 7% raise for patrol officers... An 8% raise for command staff. So more of a raise for the command staff than the 
um, guys on the street, which includes employees ranked as lieutenants or higher, or lieutenants if you prefer. Some people call it that, don't they? I find that a bit weird, but... Unlike recent years, the sheriff's office is not asking for money to spend on a drug dog. Skiles said he omitted the request this year because it was made pretty clear last year that he would not get the funding for a canine, which has been a goal of the sheriff's office for years. So, as you saw, the 2019, I don't know where the 2020 request is, but you can see he has been requesting this, this drug dog. And so Tim Best said they may ask for one next year and we'll evaluate how the Moscow Police Department's new canine Ragnar performs this year. I've seen lots of pictures with Ragnar in. So they have got a new canine. So they did get one then, are they saying? This is confusing. They've been asking for one but didn't get one, but then it says they have got one. I don't know what's going on here then. Moscow's first drug dog arrived in the city in late May. Well, they're not asking for one because they've got one then. What? Commissioner Dave McGraw apologised to Best and Skiles for the county not providing the funding for a canine during his time in office. He said, the jail is full of people on drug charges and fentanyl is on the rise. The biggest threat we have right now in Latar or Latar County, in my mind, is drugs, he said. This is Commissioner Dave McGraw. Must be a very experienced person in law enforcement to be the commissioner. And he apologises for not providing um, a canine until now. The jails are full of people on drug charges. Fentanyl is on the rise. The biggest threat we have right now, said Commissioner Dave McGraw in Latar County, in my mind, in my experienced mind, is drugs, he said. The, th the Sheriff's Office did request an increase in funding to help cover rising fuel costs. Best said last year's fuel budget was $90,000, probably not as much as his pay, but, and he asked for an additional $55,000 this year. He said lately the price of fuel has cost his office $10,000 to $12,000 per month. Get out of your cars, guys. He said the office's goal is to have at least three or four patrol vehicles on the road at all time. What about boots on the ground? I mean, we have seen these officers walking around the campus, but as I say... I don't feel that their their effort is to protect, their um, objective is to protect and serve. I mean, it was like 5.30 in the afternoon, this noise complaint. I feel like I might have said to the person complaining, right, come back when it's like midnight. And obviously there were ones at night time, but, and those boys... You've got somebody sat on the roof. It looked like utter mayhem in the frat house. I think it was a frat house, wasn't it? With all those lads outside. It looked... It looked tribal. And yet they get a fist bump. Don't get their ID taken. Don't get their uh, telephone number taken. All right, lads. Thumbs up. Fist bump. And then... And they, there was a lot of noise coming from there. Go up to that other house. I can't even hear anything. Not much anyway. Not enough that I would be calling in a noise complaint on a, um, at 5.30. What, who's putting their kids to bed at 5.30? That's, that's like dinner time, tea time. You're just like, just 
seems ridiculous that somebody would make a complaint and I don't even think they did complain about that house but they just decided we've gone to a frat house so we've got to go to a sorority house which they believe it to be I don't know whether it was or not and uh, yeah just didn't seem to be that much noise there but then she gets her ID taken she gets her telephone number taken she even gets her ID photographed anyway on one today aren't I um he said the office's goal is to have at least three or four patrol vehicles on the road at all times why are they driving so much just because you're on the road why why you can be stationary some of the time I don't know sorry I'm um I am to be fair speaking on something that I don't probably know enough about in this instance i'm just questioning it really um i just feel like don't ask for more money tell people to get out of their, their vehicles I, I know but i to be fair like also you know i live somewhere where i tell you the, the cost of fuel is very high here um but we don't have to travel as far to get from one place to another. So I don't know how big Latar County is, Latar County. I've heard it pr um, pronounced both ways, which is why I can't make a decision here. Um, right, I know what I want to show you is... So this is about the national average wage. Uh, I need to tell you my source for this as well. Um... So this is for 2020. The national average wage was $53,000 approximately in 2020. And then in 2021, 58000 Oh, sorry, this was 2022. So it's going to be about... So if it's gone up 5000 So shall we say it's 63000 in twenty. Oh, no, that'd be 2021. Oh, no, yeah, sorry, that is 2021. Yeah, 2022, 63,000. Okay. Uh, let's see if I find the source for that. Mm, yeah. SSA.gov. I don't know who SSA.gov. They sound official. Social Security. Average wage index. Okay. So, now, let's have a look at Latar County salaries. Now, this is on a public website. I don't see that there's any reason I shouldn't be able to share this. I have seen on other um, financial things shared on other website, on other podcasts on YouTube. So hopefully this isn't unacceptable. So this was 2020. Oh, so we do need to look at the 50... We need to look at, I'm going all over the place, the 53,000 then because these wages were from 2020. So bear in mind, these wages would have gone up. So William Thompson, so Bill Thompson. We've seen Bill Thompson. Oh, but no, I'm getting muddled up with James Fry. Bill Thompson is a prosecutor, isn't he? Okay, so the prosecutor receives $107,000 or received $107,000, nearly $108,000 in 2020. Richard Skiles, we've seen Richie Skiles. Richard Skiles, we've seen Richie Skiles. Do you want to see him again? Remember who Richie Skiles is? Here he is. Uh, 88, nearly 89,000, 84% higher than average. And But apparently, I mean, he's saying, so he would count his command, wouldn't he, in the sheriff's office? If he's somebody dealing with the sheriff's office budget, then I'm assuming he is the sheriff, isn't he? So, and he, uh, they wanted an 8% pay rise. Why does he need an 8% pay rise?
Just now, Tim Best. What was his role? The chief something. Let's have a look. Tim Best. Just chief. Chief deputy. Chief deputy to the sheriff. Then sheriff's right hand man. Would that be? Uh, hang on. Terrible at flitting around this. I'm always pressing the wrong button. Trigger happy. Um, Tim Best. So he's not that far below the sheriff. $2,000 less than the sheriff. He's 80% higher than the average, but still wants an 8% pay rise. Um, there's a mistake in this video because I could have sworn I'd heard Lana from Truth and Transparency say that Officer Welch, Jordan Welch, was a woman. But clearly, I must be mistaken because um, he was involved in the... Um, body cam footage where the, all the booze is pulled away and um, I, I think that's a man so I'm pretty sure it's Guy who's, who's in that video I mean there's a few people in it so it's a bit confusing but I don't I don't think that it's a female um, I think maybe there's must be something else that somebody else maybe she was talking about who had a, a unisex first name that I maybe got muddled up. So what I say about within this video, it'll be sort of later on in the video, just disregard my confusion over thinking that Officer Jordan Welsh was female because I think I might be mistaken there. But I cannot find a picture of Jordan Welch He's not in the annual report. I've Googled the name. I cannot find this person. I, I don't know where they've gone. I don't, I can't find anything on them. Like picture wise, I, I, I can't find anything. Okay, Mos Moscow District salaries. Highest salary at Moscow District in year 2022 was, oh, blimey, 138,000. That's higher than Bill Thompson. Oh, but that was 2020, wasn't it? Okay. Number of employees at Moscow District in year 2022 was 370. But obviously they're not all police officers um, average salary was 41,000. God, that's a lot lower than that. So Moscow District average salary is 11% lower than USA average and median salary is 7% lower. Hmm, interesting.
Um, so this is Caleb Strubble or Struble. Now, this is the 2021 report because I can't find him now in the 2022 report. But I thought he was in it and I could have sworn I've seen him in it because he re he left and came back. But uh, maybe I've got the reports muddled up. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to include him anyway because he's in the video that I pre-recorded. But I I can't be a hundred percent sure that he was still in the department in twenty twenty two. Um, maybe somebody will be able to find out. I don't know. Um, so this is from twenty twenty one. In November, Corporal Caleb Struble was deployed in Europe for a thirteen month tour. Caleb holds the rank of captain in the Montana Guard and leads others in his unit on complex missions. Moscow Police Department is very proud of Caleb's courage and his sacrifice to ensure freedoms for others. Our thoughts and prayers are with him, his family and his soldiers during this time we look forward to his return in december so this is from the 2021 report but as i say i thought i'd seen him in the 2022 i thought he was in both reports but um i'm not sure now if i don't know why it would have been changed that seems unlikely so i could be wrong but anyway So there, so here we go, Caleb Struble. So he's been with them. I mean, I don't know if the Florida one's got anything to do with it. If it's a different guy, I know that it, that it might might be a different guy because there was a a young man in Florida called with the same name who I got a bit confused with. So two thousand sixteen, he was earning forty three thousand. Then 45,000 in 2017, then considerably more 2019. Oh, well, we've missed 2018, so I see why. Unless he wasn't working there for a while. Um, 59,680. 2020, 70,200. In 2021, he's earning less money. Why would that be? That's weird. Um, so that was Caleb Struble. Now, other people working. Let's see. Brett Payne. We don't need to have a picture of him. We know exactly what he looks like. Mm. So corporal. He's a corporal. But why is this corporal earning so much money? He's earning 88 thousand lucky old pain eh and it says here the salary is 159 percent higher than average and 412 percent higher than the median salary in the city of moscow what the... In 2022. Ooh, what's happened there? It's interesting, isn't it? Um, and then look, in 2021, he was earning a lot less. 72,128. And then it jumps up... He's work is he working for other places as well, or is that different? Brett Payne's probably quite a common name, to be fair. And then jumps up to more than... Where are we? Where's the Moscow one? More than 10,000 more. And he's still a corporal, and he's still within that pay bracket that I showed you, which is, um, well, it was 70-something thousand in 2020. It couldn't have gone up that much higher. Well, anyway, you can see it's, it told you the percentage, how much percentage higher. In two thousand nineteen, he was earning sixty seven thousand. 
Maybe he threatened them he was going to leave. He had. He did become a drone, um, an expert with drones. Interesting. Uh, so who else have we got? James Fry. Oh, my son's very noisy this evening. My apologies. Oh, we've got James Fry in Washington. Now we need Idaho. And we need Moscow. Oh, we've got University and City. Hold on. Okay, right. So he's the police chief. Do you know that the police chief seems to be earning more than the prosecutor? I'm sure um, Thompson wasn't. Is not Bill Thompson's not earning that much. I'll have a look in a moment. So this is twenty twenty two. Doing all right, isn't he? Look how much it jumped from two thousand eighteen. Hold on. What? This is weird. Two thousand sixteen. He was earning. Have they got the years wrong? No. This is very odd. 91,000, then it, then 2017, 98,000, then 2018, 49,000. What is going on? But then 2019, he looks like he doubled it. He doubled his money. What the hell? This is weird. Um, let's look at Bill Thompson again. William. Oop. William Thompson. I wish it could just read my mind. I know I could probably read probably just get it to read it. Right. Start typing. Latar County Latar. Now, is that's all him? Well, there, it must be, mustn't it? So he was in 111,000. How much was the, the cat, the chief, earning? Almost the same, just, just, um, just slightly less. That's amazing. I'm surprised at that. Okay. Right. Um, now, who else do we have? Now, this is an interesting one. Because I couldn't find this person before. I've got Nathaniel Ra Rosendahl. I couldn't find him under Nate or Nathaniel. I'll put in Nathaniel. And I checked the spellings as well. Now... I can't remember now if it was... I feel like it was spelled A-L at the end, which isn't the usual spelling of it, but I'm going to try both both ways just to be sure. Every time I look at the employee's salaries, it seems to say something different. So um, I'm just... Uh, this is me in the present day. OK, now I need to apologise for a few things that you may have just listened to. I've realised that there's, that I, even though I tried to spell Nathaniel the alternative way, Nathaniel is spelt a really unusual way. It's A-E-L. So that may have been my mistake. So I'm just about to correct that one. But um, also there's some other things that I said, which um, I know how to say Latar County now. Well done me. And there are some other things that I'm, we're all well aware of now that, that I would have said and you'd be like, oh, don't you even know that? But I do know it. I do, damn it. I just did this video ages ago. Well, ages ago. Um, I started them in July. And then some from the beginning of August, I've been sort of adding to it and it's all a bit ad hoc and a bit muddled but the information is there I just may sometimes have to you, it might not <laughs> might not be 
quite the right order. Anyway, this is um, what well, this is the average here. I'm sure is lower than the average that we looked at before, which must have been for 2021. Because previously, I'm sure I read the average as being 44,000. And here it says 34,000. So the highest now is 150. The gap is getting bigger. 157 to some lucky bugger at the city of Moscow. Probably James Fry. Um... And um, the low, uh, well, no, it's not even the lowest. The average is 34,000 and the median is 17,000. What's going on? They're stitching everybody up. These police, honestly, they've got all the money. <laughs> it's because they're getting it off all the students <laughs> for their alcoholism or their, their perceived alcoholism. City of Moscow employee salaries are usually between, so that's general, that's the, usually the highest amount is 58,788. Top 10% of highest earners, you can see between 80, sort of 86,000, 157,000. Right now, we need to find um, Nathaniel Na. A L. Oh, I hope that's right this time. I'm pretty sure it is. Rosendahl. It's been wiped off the face of the her uh, nose there. Oh. Uh not, no wonder he was so pissed off all the time. I wonder if he was just, um, maybe he didn't work full time. Maybe he had an injury or something. I think he had a, and I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say it out loud. Don't, don't encourage me. Right. So I'm trying to find something here. I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, oh, I think it's the charger. Oh, I don't know where it is. It's not here. Right. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to waffle for a moment. Just give me a minute. Um, charger. Right there. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Did I just whip you with it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> just whipped my son. Um. Oh no, I've got it stuck in the door. It's all going wrong. I just didn't want to stop and start again because there's just too much stopping and starting. It's really. I just got to get this video out there, out there to the masses. <laughs> About a hundred people that watch it. I'm sure they will. It's going to change their lives. Yeah, can you believe it? Rosen, Ro Rosendahl thought he'd be on the big bucks. That is why he's so eggy all the time. Right, now, where am I sticking this? Um, ah, it's all become clear. Right, okay. Wow, that's really taken me by surprise. I th um, unless he didn't work the whole year as well. I mean, maybe he started mid-year or something. I'm, I'm going to... You'll hear a video in a bit. And it's from the 2022 annual report. And he started in 2022. And it might say when he started there. So maybe he didn't, just didn't start at the beginning of the year. I don't know what. But he must have done half the year. That still would have been... Well, maybe... I mean, he looks quite young. He looks very young when you look... I, you can't tell on those videos. He's got an older voice. But when you look at his picture, he looks like a real whippersnapper. Anyway, right. Onward. <laughs> 